Today I will show you how to turn daylight scenes into the night, so let's start! Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to today's episode. Today, as I mentioned before, I will show you how to transform daylight scenes into the night scenes in Photoshop. But before we start, let's quickly think about how the night scenes looks. First, they are a lot darker than the daylight scenes, of course. Second one, they are a little bit desaturated. And third one, they have some bluish tint in it. Alright, now let's jump into the Photoshop and start with today's episode. Ok guys, for this episode I will use this image of this van going down the road, through the mountain, blah blah blah. And the second image will be this night sky that we will change with these daylight skies, of course. But first let's make this da daylight image a little bit darker. For this I will use Curves Adjustment Layer and pull this a little bit down. Not too much because I don't want to lose a lot of details in the shadows, but something like, like so and make it just a little bit darker. Second one, I will desaturate this image just a little bit, but I will not use Hue and Saturation Adjustment Layer. Instead, I will use Curves Adjustment Layer, as I show you in the last week episode. So, let's do it again. Let's use Curves and put the blending mode into the colors and just put this all the way down and we have black and white image. But we will desaturate it just a little bit, maybe something like like so let me see before and after before and after really nice and the third thing what we need to do is to make image even more darker with the bluish tint in it all right for that we will use another adjustment layer it's solid color here and let's use some blue color something like so for start we can change that always that's why i'm using these adjustment layers and change the blending mode to multiply. Alright, this is already looking better. Let me see if we make this even bluish and saturated. It's not so good. Here's a little lot brighter. It's not so good. Something, I don't know, something around, maybe something around this color. It's, it's okay. Alright, the next step will be to replace the sky, so let's do that pretty quick. Let's just quickly uncheck all these layers and move the sky layer at the top. OK. And use a quick selection tool here and just quickly select the sky. OK. With the Q, we will go into the quick mask and we can see if we, our selection is good. It's not good. Here is Here we need to correct it. With the Alter Option key, just go and refine it, alright, and here it's another one. Let's zoom it a little bit. Okay, here and here, alright, and we have some minor tweaks here and here. Alright, we don't need this selection to be so perfect because this sky will blend pretty good with these rocks, but I just make it. It's not so long process. I just quickly check again. It's good. It's good. Okay. It's pretty good. So now with the selection active, just go here on the sky layer and turn it on and just make a mask. All right, let's name this sky. Let's name this uh, road. Okay, and turn all these layers together. All right, we already have something really interesting here. It's really, really nice looking night scene already, but we have a few minor tweaks to do. So let's do it. Okay, first let's group all these adjustment layers into the one group with Ctrl or Command G and let's name it uh, Day to Night. Okay, and let's make mask on that adjustment layer. And what I want to do here is to bring these lights on, to turn these lights on. For that, 
we will use a black brush and just paint here like so let's bring those two lights on okay for a start let's just paint like so let's make smaller and make a cube if you miss it like i did right now you just press x on a keyboard or here this icon to swap the brushes uh, the colors for black to white and with white just make this as it needs to be all right like so and here again x and use the black brush and bring this in something like so all right let's correct this to a little bit and this too. all right nice uh, let's go again in the adjustment layers and make new adjustment layer curves and just make this uh, no no actually let's do this here curves and make a little bit brighter all right and go to the blue channel make a little bit yellowish and to the red channel put the red color in and let's copy this mask here with the alt or option key just drag this mask and say replace layer mask yes replace it all right and then control command i to inverse that layer mask and now what we have we have those lights a little bit brighter all right we will go double click on the mask and feather it just a little bit let me see like so it's nice all right let's then make the lights from uh, the front of the vehicle for that we will go again on this layer mask uh, on our group day to night and we will use a pen tool here let me find the pen tool it's here and let me see from this maybe to this and here and just make something like that and then you can refine it with control click on the point and just press and hold control and just tweak it as you want to be i want something like like so and then press control command uh enter and you will have them this selection active and then i will use the gradient map and with the gradient map black to white just do something like so all right let's deselect control command d and now we have the lights from the vehicle straight ahead we can tweak this a little bit by going to the double click on the layer mask and feather this mask just a little bit like so and now we have just a little bit better impression of those lights here all right now let's go to the sky layer and add some bluish tint on it let's go to the curves clip it to that layer to affect only this layer not the layer be layers below and go to the blue channel and add a little bit blue let me zoom a little bit blue but now we need to add a little bit yellow to reduce magenta in the sky something something like so all right we can make that sky darker or brighter it's our preference but uh, i will i'll make just a little bit brighter and then use another adjustment layer and make a lot brighter like so invert the mask control or command i and use again the gradient mask tool but i will swap the colors i will use white to black and just do something like so and clip it of course I need to clip it because here here is the shadows are uh, in this direction here that means that the light source in this case the moon it's on the right side of the image here and I want to make impression that here is the little bit brighter brighter scene all right that's really really nice let's just group all 
all this into the one group control or command G and let's name it day to to night final okay and this is daylight scene this is the night scene daylight scene night scene we can tweak this just a little bit to have a little bit better image uh, let's merge all layers together with control uh, shift alt e or on a mac uh, shift command option e and let's uh, merge all this into the new layer and now we can go to the filter and as i uh, mentioned in my previous tutorials i like to use nick color fx pro it's free google software and i like this uh, you will see this pro contrast really really much and as you know if you watch my previous tutorials in pro contrast i like this dynamic contrast slider and let's pop this dynamic contrast just a little bit all right and I add a new filter Let's add this tonal contrast here, but let's zero everything out because the default value are not suited good for me. Okay, and let's just bring it, bring mid tones just a little bit. Let me see, like so. Maybe shadows, maybe just a touch, something like that. All right, and say okay. And just wait a little bit for this filter to apply. All right, nice. Now we can merge again all layers together into one and go to the filter and camera row filter. It's second my second favorite filter that I use in my uh, photo manipulation process. All right, let's go here to the FX panel and maybe dehaze this image just touch like so. And maybe add again a bluish tint even more into the shadows. something like or no or add into the highlights because they are a little bit more saturated than the shadows something like like so and let me see that's really good maybe to bring the contrast to up or just a little bit like so and vibrance down saturation just a little bit up let me see, press P on a keyboard before and after, before and after, it's looking good. All right, press OK. And that's it. We can copy this layer with Control Command G, go to the filters, other, high pass, and let's zoom it. One and a half or less, maybe one and 1.3. Press OK, and we will sharpen now this image. Let's bring this to the linear light, for example, and let me see before and after. Let's zoom in to see the van here before and after. Yeah, it's really nice. But I don't want this sky to be sharpened because there's too much noise in the sky already. And I don't want stars to be so sharp. And for that, I will make another layer mask, use a brush, black brush and just let me see, make a brush a little bit bigger and really soft, but brush, not the gradient tool. Okay, brush, soft and bigger and just paint with the black here. Something like so. And then we can press and hold the uh, Alt uh, or uh, Option key on the Mac and click on Layer Mask and we will get only Layer Mask and just tweak it to make this layer mask a little bit better to fill these those gaps here all right press alt or option key and on the mask again and now we have everything sharp ex except the sky okay let's group this and name it color correction and that's it this is color correction this is daylight, night scene, daylight scene, night scene, color corrected without color correction and color corrected. And that's how you can turn your daylight scene into the night scene in Photoshop. Question of the day, what is your favorite selection tool in Photoshop? Please comment below, I would love to hear that from you. All right, guys, we are finished with this episode. I hope that you like it and that you learn something new out of it. 
Don't forget to subscribe for future episodes and if you have any questions at all, please be free to ask them in a comment below. See you next week in the next episode. Bye-bye.